Hello, a very warm welcome to everyone. I am Akash Gambiram from BSc Forensic Science, Sri Vaishnav Institute of Forensic Science, STP. Today we are going to discuss the topic cyber security. So, what is cyber security? Cyber security protects your systems, networks, programs, your devices, and your data from cyber attacks with the application of different technologies and processes. So, why this uh, cyber security is important? Uh, there are several reasons why this cyber security is important. Uh, let us go through each point. The first reason is that the costs of cyber security breaches are rising. If the cyber security is breached, then organizations may face significant fines, uh, not only in the form of financial, but also they may face reputational damage also. And the second reason is that cyber attacks are increasingly sophisticated. That means attackers are becoming more experienced and using wide variety of tactics like which includes uh, malware and ransomware etc and the third reason is that cyber security is a critical broad level issue that means the board in any organization needs to manage their cyber security by using different uh, strategies to control the cyber attacks and the another reason is that cyber crime is a big business uh, according to different uh, studies made by different researchers, uh, cyber crime is affecting world economy. So, uh, these are different reasons why this cyber security is important. And some of the common cyber threats or cyber attacks. These are some common uh, cyber attacks. Let us discuss each. Malware. Malware includes uh, ransomware, trojans, viruses, worms, etc. Backdoors. Backdoors uh, is nothing but that allows remote access to unauthorized users. Form jacking that inserts a malicious code into the online forms. And another uh, cyber attack is crypto jacking that installs uh, illicit uh, cryptocurrency in mining softwares. And another is distributed denial of uh, service that is DDoS attacks that attacks servers. And another next is domain name system that is DNS poisoning attacks that compromise uh, the DNS to malicious sites. So these are some common cyber threats or cyber attacks. So there are different types of uh, cyber security. Uh, so mainly there are five types of cyber security. Let us discuss each. The, so the first one is critical infrastructure. The organizations that use uh, critical infrastructures for cyber security are uh, often more vulnerable to attacks than others because SCADA that is uh, supervisory control and data acquisitions often rely on older software. So this is about critical infrastructure and the second uh, type is network security. Addressing vulnerabilities that are uh, affecting our operating system and network architecture comes under this uh, type of cyber security. And the third type is cloud security. This type of cyber security uh, deals with securing data applications and infrastructure in the cloud. And the next type is IoT security, that is uh, Internet of Things. In this, IoT secures the smart devices and networks connected to the IoT. Uh, IoT devices include uh, things that are connected to the internet without human intervention, such as firearms, lights fight alarms etc and the next is and the last uh, type is application security uh, this deals with the vulnerabilities resulting from insecure development uh, processes in designing and coding so this is all about the types of cyber security so what is the difference between cyber security and information security uh, it's quite common that people are being uh, often being confused between cyber security and information security. Cyber security mainly focuses on protecting your computer system from unauthorized access, whereas information security protects your uh, whether uh, protects information whether in hard copy or digital form. And the next topic is what are the challenges of cyber security? Controlling the cyber security at uh, the organization level will be challenging because it's hard uh, to control device security as well as employee behavior also and the next is 
what are the consequ consequences of cyber attacks there will be so many consequences of cyber attacks like it can cause financially as well as reputationally also to the organizations so how to manage this cyber security there will be so many uh, like methods to manage this cyber security like uh, one of that is the top of the organization that is organization should be provide uh, effective cyber security and it should be responsible to uh, for providing these uh, measures and the second point is that uh, every employee should be equally responsible to control cyber security breaches so good security and effective pra uh, effective practices effective working must go in hand in hand so who needs this cyber security like, like it is a mistake to believe that no no one attacks your system like because anyone can attack anyone can be attacked your is your system so it's uh, you need to be careful enough to control the cyber attacks and the next topic is cyber security checklist first is user education uh, human errors can cause data breaches so it should be managed uh, for effective purposes to, uh, and the next is application security uh, application vulnerabilities are common and application plays important role also so it's uh, vital to focus on application security and the next is network security network vulnerabilities sh should be managed to reduce the cyber attacks and the next and the most important is leadership commitment it can provide effective and appropriate approach to control cyber attacks which controls the cyber attacks and manages this cyber security well and the next is password management uh, like password should be strong enough so that it should be it should become difficult to others to crack th those passwords so this is all about cyber security and thank you everyone Thank you so much uh, Dinesh Kamble sir for giving me this uh, opportunity